Hello, everyone. This week, we are talking about how we worship God because he is good. What does good mean? I bet if we were to go around and ask a hundred different people what good means, we would probably get a hundred different answers. Some might say that good is something that's enjoyable or pleasant or pleasing. Maybe good is something that makes you happy. Others might think of being a good person and say good means something more like kind or not selfish. The Bible actually has quite a lot to say about what is good. In Mark 10, 18, Jesus tells us that no one is good except for God. And in Galatians, we see that goodness is one of the fruits of the Spirit, which means when we love and trust Jesus and believe that he died for our sin, to pay the penalty for our sin, so that we wouldn't have to be separated from God anymore, then the Holy Spirit comes and lives inside of us, and God's goodness and his love can grow and be seen in us too. God's goodness means that he is perfect and always does just the right thing in every single situation. It means that he is just and gracious and kind. He's loving and holy. He is excellent in every single way. The Bible also says that not only is God good, but he's also good to us. We may be some of these things some of the time, but God is all of these things all of the time. Good is just who he is. Raise your hand if you like candy or treats. I do. But have you ever seen a candy or a treat that looked really, really good? but maybe tasted kind of or even really yucky? I have. Around Easter, there are a lot of different kinds of candies and treats around, aren't there? Some of my favorites are the eggs or the bunnies that are filled with extra yummy filling like marshmallow or cream or even peanut butter. Take a look at this little guy. If I break him open, what kind of yummy filling do you think is inside him? Should we find out? Nothing. Did any of you guess nothing? That is quite disappointing, isn't it? When we see something that looks really good on the outside, but is empty or doesn't actually taste very good, it's very disappointing. But the good news is, God is not like that. Because we know that good is just who he is, we know that he's good all the way to his very core. God will never crumble or fall apart. He's never going to break. When we go to him, we'll never find him empty or lacking. Even when we don't understand right away, we can always, always trust that God is good. Let's pray. Father God, you are so good and you are so very good to us. Help us to see this week examples of your goodness, your love, and your mercy. When we find ourselves in situations that don't feel good or that we just really don't like, help us to remember that you are always good and you are good to us. Help us to trust you and to look for your glory and your good, even in these situations. In your name we pray. Amen. Friends, I am so glad that you joined me today, and I hope we'll get to see you again really soon. Have a great week.